let's get back to the to the good things then. Yeah. Uh, Ross, you mentioned that you always wanted to be a lead singer, but you ca had kind of given up about uh, on yeah. the idea. What was it like then walking on stage with you guys uh, for the first time? Uh, it was a, a dream come true. Uh, exactly. I mean, I've you know I've been doing shows all my life. I've been in the entertainment industry for about ten years, doing uh, musicals, playing mm -hmm. leads in the West End, and and um, doing some TV and film, and I write music commercially. And you know, it's it was just uh, the culmination of 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 a year's uh, uh, sorry a, a lifetime's work and training to do the job. You know, and it was I just. Felt like I was home. Yeah. Felt like I was home. You know what I mean. Yeah. That, and uh, and uh, now it's um, all I want to do is, is prove to to everyone that, that these guys made the right choice. Well, that, that's an interesting point as well because uh, can you ever prepare for something like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to. You, you've, it's do it's do or die. It's um, and and I quite like that. I think I'm a, I'm, I'm that kind of person. Uh, you know, either mm. I want I want to <coughs> do do it all or nothing. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just it's you know preparation's half the battle. You know when it comes to performance, you know um, it's you know lyrics, music, yeah. all that stuff. But again, the most the one of the most important things is synchronicity mm. between between the guys and um, uh, to make sure that we're all on the same ship and we're all headed in the same direction because it's a big mm. fucking ship. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you know, I mean, t he's got so many. Uh, Assets um, creatively, and and that's important for Spando. I mean, he brings some creative ideas in when we're talking about arrangements. Um, you know, we haven't even really sort of touched up so much on on where we're going, new songs and all that. That's another sort of thing that we're, that, that we've got ahead of us. It's very exciting, uh, but also you know you need someone in in your unit um, that that you get on with as well. You know, and he he seems to have kind of. Um, well, in a way, you, you've helped us to galvanise it, galvanise us in a certain way that's brought us all closer. You well, know, I, your I, personality, I mean. I, I can imagine that very much so because when Tony left, I can imagine that 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 put a damper on, yeah. on things a little bit. But then, yeah. and then, then you're looking for <coughs> something to to like that's to say right. I mean, you, In a way, it's not like you're replacing Tony. I mean, you, right. you know what I mean. Tony is he's always going to be there in spirit, I mm. guess. And there's so there's a vast history of Tony there. You can't just sort of wipe that out and start again. It's a new phase. It's a new chapter. And um, you know, but with with Ross spearheading that on stage and and um, I, I, it's different he's different to Tony he can cover all the bases you know like I say his, his depth of voice his, his, um, his vocal range can cover all that stuff that, that Tony does the, you know it's his natural area um, but he brings something else into it with his range and his tone and you know the, the lovely sort of your Scottish burr that comes through <laughs> occasionally. I find that so sweet and charming, you know. Mm. So it's all fresh again in a way, without it sounding so different, you know. Yeah, in that sense, do you see the songs evolving in in a way from, from where they were? Oh yeah, totally. Um, it, yeah, he j he has his own phrasing as well. And 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 that's interesting, you know. I think it they'll come out in the. Your probably hands are tired a little bit because they're fra they're sort of phrases and yeah. There's certain things you have to yeah. pay homage to. I mean, there's uh, you know, so all, all the all the big hits. You know, mm -hmm. the, the phrasing of the big hits has to be done in the right way. But I, you know, um, you know, Steve and Gary, and Martin and John are. Are they like me to sort of push and pull things a bit? And I like to hit high notes. You know, I'm a rock singer, and I like to I like to go up there and yeah, do that. Yeah. So every now and again, I'll chuck in a high note and uh, stuff like that, which so is great. Right, it's yeah. good fun. Though, you know, when he does chuck in that thing, it's it seems like it's not so far removed. It's not strange territory. That, that's a big compliment I can pay to you. That when we were sort of rehearsing, I, I forgot that we had a new singer. And it's because it's not so strange. Yeah, it doesn't sound exactly like Tony. It, it's it sounds like Ross, but it's close enough to make you feel comfortable as a listener that you you're not like mm, something weird about this. It's not. And then all of a sudden you get Ross coming out, poking out, and that's like oh wow, yeah, I forgot we've got a new singer here. <laughs> go go Ross, you know, see what what we can do here. 
But for you then, Ross, coming into to this band, was there ever a moment where, you, uh, because obviously there will be some comparisons that are going to be made. Did, did you, uh, because the way it sounds to me is, is you, you very much focused on what you could do and how you could affect the band, mm. less so how, how you would um, square up or match up uh, against what Tony did. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't think about the latter at all. I, mm. you know, I, um, I've got as, as much respect as I can have for Tony and um, we actually had some mutual friends in the past and we'd kind of it missed each other by two minutes in a studio a few times and um but um but no no I, all, all i can all i can be is myself i mean for years i've been playing characters in musicals you know and um this is a lovely opportunity to to be myself and sing as myself and to do that but but yeah um as as we say the, the songs are so ingrained the the big hits that um that yeah i'm not going to deviate so much that you're going to go wow so diva eight, diva eight. <laughs> <laughs> And Steve, you mentioned uh, so something interesting as well, is that of new material, the thought of uh, perhaps in the future writing mm. new material. Yeah. So when ha has that become a real conversation? Now? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, for me personally, I think it's imperative to come up with new material. I mean, we don't want to be seen as a retro band and Ross is not just there to emulate the, the tunes we've done in the past. And songwriting is my biggest passion like yeah. ever and me and me and Steve have had a jam or two and, and we love playing together and we just need to to get all the boys together and, and figure yeah. out a concept, figure out a direction because you know I think that's so important to be all on the same page when it comes yeah. to writing and, and what and what, what That's right. I mean of course like. we got we got Gary who's one of the one of the, our generation's finest songwriters. And um, you know, I know that he's been he's got ideas or songs already. He's always said he's been in the studio and you know, he's we got we got that to look forward to. Um, and you know, that that definitely we wanna we wanna show people um, what? <laughs> this rewind a little bit because mm. I think it was a, it was when Soul Boys of the Western World came out, and then Once More we had an album called Once More, right. and and we were putting in so many songs, new songs that there really weren't it wasn't enough time to record them all, um, and we never really had the chance to record a whole new album because mm. Tony wanted to go off and do his own thing. Uh, and that was kind of frustrating, but it, it was an indication of the creativity that we've got and that we're actually f forward thinking. You know, we want to compete. OK, I won't say we want, you can't compete with the, the, the latest artists, any, I guess. Um, but there's no reason why we, we can't make a, a good dent in it. Yeah, why not? Can. OK. Yeah, so it's exciting. Coming up with new songs, let's see where we go. We're going off somewhere, perhaps all together in some manor house. I always like that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'll like bonding. Yeah. Yeah, it always works, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it means you're sort of living and breathing in, uh, with each other and, Absolutely. and, and just like, oh, I've got and an that's, idea, and that's, go to the yeah, studio. And that's, and that's how, it, that's how it, it, dare I say it, that's how it used to be done. Yeah. You know, I mean, now it's, it's, it can be quite clinical, everyone in the studio. Sending the, the, the files over. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's all just get the together, have a few beers, get the guitars out yeah. and talk about <clears> what we love, yeah. music. Yeah. And, and I suppose... This being Spandau Ballet, you, you have nothing to prove uh, except what you want to prove to yourself. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And the only thing... Speak for yourselves. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot to prove. <laughs> no, but I think also we have something to prove and that you're only kind of as good as your last mm. record, aren't you? And um, we have to prove that we're not past it. And we're mm. not. There's a lot of energy. I mean, that, we did the, the gig with Ross um, back in, was it May now? It's Subterranea, just a small club, just to see how things sort of worked out. And we the energy bouncing. on stage Everyone was, was incredible. Yeah. I had to keep up with them at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, to, to round off the interview then a little bit, uh, but the, the response uh, from people to <coughs> this band being yeah. on stage again, to, yeah. to having a bright future, so, so yeah. what has the response been? Um, mainly, I would say about 80%. 85% absolutely positive people that get it. Um, other people, you know, it's like ah, not the same. Uh, ah, never be the same. It's not Tony. Without Tony, there's no party. I read something like that today. So, do me a favour. We stop all that. Don't yeah. you know? If you if you don't like the fruit, get off the vine. 
just go somewhere else because yeah. it, it's not going to be the same. It's completely not the same. It's not completely different. Life moves on, man. Life moves Get on. Over and, it. And, it, and the alternative like. is we want to do that. That's it. Why is it? Because Tony didn't want to do it with us anymore. He still does it with his band. Mm -hmm. Why is it we have to stop? I don't get that. And I think it's disrespectful more than anything. Keep the opinions to yourself or go and post them on someone else's site. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. We want to do it. And I think that people should be a bit more respectful towards us in that respect. That's mm -hmm. all. One more question then, because this this brings up uh, another issue of social media and, and the way kind of people interact with musicians these days, and, and comparative to to uh, the earlier years uh, of the band, how how is it changed and then people voicing their opinions the way they do? I mean, I've I've heard, you know, all all my communications with the fans have been through social media. Right. You know, my my Instagram kind of blew up a bit when I first got announced with a band and I had loads of people from all over the world sending me lovely messages. I haven't had any hate mail so far, so it's been all good. <laughs> and, and, and another thing that, that um, did actually surprise me, because so many people associate Savannah with the 80s and they think it's got an older generation, there's so many young people in Italy, mm. Holland, Britain, France, um, Peru the other day, um, it, all over the world, young people from the age of like 16 to, mm. to, to 40 that I'm, I'm getting messages from and, and people mm. adding me that ho all have, you know, on their banners, like we love Spandau, Depeche Mode, all these, all these bands that they're into stuff, you know, because nowadays the kids have got access to for like all the music from mm. forever. They don't have to look at their parents' CD collections. It's, it's online for them. Right. So if they want to explore and people are really into music, they can explore. Some people just go, oh, I'll just let whatever I hear on the radio or what everyone else is yeah. listening to just come into me. But people who really love music can explore um, it's all out there and uh, Instagram and Twitter have been great mediums to, to connect mm. with the fans. Yeah, I really think you've, got, you've had a lot of support since you come on board. Yeah, it's, it's been Absolutely. Great. You've got more followers than I have on Twitter. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> Alright gentlemen, thank you. Know. You're thank very you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot.